morning, Elvira. Hattie. Oh, Olivia, I must say I enjoyed your poem in the newspaper so much. My poem is in the newspaper? It is? That's wonderful. Wait till you see it, Aunt Hattie. Uh, poem? What poem? Well, I read it out loud to Edward, and even though he isn't much for that sort of thing, he said that he felt right proud to be acquainted with the person who wrote it. There it is. Seasons End by Olivia J. King. They really published it. Seasons End. <laughs> really, Olivia. Well, there it is. My name in print. It had a real nice sentiment to it. Oh, it, it was just a little something that popped into my head. It... I'll tell you, it took some convincing to get her to submit it. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I never imagined it, that it would be published. Oh, Mr. Dale, good morning. Did you see Aunt Olivia's poem in the newspaper? Yes, I saw it. Did you like it? Yes, I, I certainly did enjoy it. Thank you, Jasper. Well, it was a welcome change from the usual reported comings and goings of Avonlea. I mean, if you ask me, the paper's gone downhill since old Mr. Tyler died. I mean, his son just doesn't seem to have the same feel for it. Don't you agree, Mr. Dale? Uh, yes. No. I, I would, wouldn't know what to say about that. Well, I, I think that you should do more of the same thing, Olivia. The Avonlea Chronicle could use some new blood. I could use some service. Oh, if it's not too inconvenient. Oh, here I am prattling on. What, uh, what can I get for you, Hattie? A pound of sugar, please, and uh, some of your imported...